Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another Pokemon trading card opening. And this time, once again, I've got the Pokeball tins. Uh, we had awesome success last time. Some really big pulls that I was super excited about, so I'm really looking forward to doing some more of these. Curious to see if we get a different coin this time, and if uh, we get the same packs as last time. Because I'm hearing... Different reports online from people getting some of the cards that I got. Some people are getting more modern cards out of their Pokeball tin. So it's interesting that they seem to be kind of getting uh, mixed up a little bit. So last time we started and ended with X and Y stuff. Uh, this time I'm going to end with the Guardians Rising because I only have two of those. So that's not... I don't have a ton and I didn't have any of them before. So at least for my luck, that was the least common of any of them. Uh, so I'm going to start with Breakpoint this time. I had pretty good luck last time with the Breakpoint cards. And we got some pretty nice pulls from those. So there's that. Okay, Great Ball. Delinquent. Nuzleaf. Side it. Fro, 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 fro. Cute little ducklet. Esper, Plant Trump, Slow Poke is my reverse, and Slow King, Hollow, is my rare. So that's kind of cool. I love pulling things that are like together in the same pack. You know, you get the reverse of something, and then the rare is the evolution of that something. Like, that's fun. I like getting cards that belong together in the same pack. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the Pokeball tins. You know, the, a lot of the fun of opening booster packs is that you never know what you're gonna get, right? Max Potion is the reverse, and Pangaro. But when you open the Pokeball, you never know what you're gonna get. Obviously, there's some sort of variances to them because I've gotten a few different cards with the Guardian uh, packs. And like I said, other people that have been opening them were getting other stuff all together. Slow bro. Wow, that is a cool looking card. Do you know, I think that was the first time I got that because I don't remember the art for that one. Fur, 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 fur. Ugly. Yep. Esper. Plantrum. Fighting Furry Belt is my reverse and treatment. This is the last break point. Nothing crazy yet for the break points. Last time, the break points were awesome. I really hope I didn't get all the good cards <laughs> on the first Pokeballs that I grabbed. Like, I just got lucky slash unlucky and like i just happened to grab the good six the first time around slow poke sinks well at least we got the uh, the reverse is a rare it's always fun and clefable which i don't have yet i don't believe so at least it's new to me okay onward to the Sun and Moon's base set now. Maybe that's a sign. We didn't really have a lot of luck on the breaking points. But in the last one, we didn't have a ton of luck with the Sun and Moon base set. We got a little bit of... If I remember correctly, anyway. I think we got a little bit of something special. But nothing crazy in the Sun and Moon base. So maybe... This time... Since we didn't get anything... In the break point, we'll get it in the sun and moon base. Well, we did get this. Our reverse is a rare, so that's always fun. And in center roar. Okay, so there's that guy. Two, three, four. Water is my energy. Akuu. Rock. Rainbow. Energy. Pass. Pewdie Spider. Eevee looking all angry. It's a good sign. I like when I pull an Eevee. 
Stuffle. Steeny is my reverse. And Butterfree. Here's my code. Well, I guess your code, technically. <laughs> it's not my code. I don't use any of them. They get thrown to you. Repel. Pelipper. Pokeball. Lillipup. Tini. Wingle. Stuffle. Drowsy. Experience share is my reverse. And Crabdominal. Rawr. God, these really starting to think I I did grab the good Pokeballs in the beginning. We need some redemption in this video. Ultra Ball. Pinsir. There's the normal Team Skull Grunt. We grabbed the crazy rainbow out of the last one. More low. Farmantis. Surskit. Growlithe. Pokeball Reverse. And... Crocodile, hello. Two more Sun and Moon. We got nothing from Prank Point. I need these Sun and Moons to come through for me here. It's like the the Pokemon card gods are looking down on me and said you had too successful of a video last time this time we're going to keep all the cards to ourselves. more lulls my reverse and parasite last sun and moon last chance for the base set to come through before we move on to the Fates Collide, which Fates Collide did pretty good for us last time. Nest Ball. Dex. Cutie Fly. Drowsy. Rowlet. Torkoal. Zubat. It's another Reverse Steeny. And a Bruxish, which, I mean, at least I'm getting cards that I don't have. I'm building up my Sun and Moon base set for sure. All right, back to X and Y. X and Y is going to save the day. I have a good feeling about Fates Collide. Fates Collide is going to come through for us. Last special, Shuckle, Volibee, Lavatar, Seal, Jigglypoof, Whimsor is my reverse, and... Reniculus. Something worth sleeving in here. I've got this big stack of sleeves doing nothing. Help me out. Power memory. Spirit link. Wiggly tough. I don't think I got that one yet. Hulu, Jigglypuff. That's I like. I love when cards have other Pokemon in them, especially when they look like they're having a good time. <laughs> Whimsor, Wormadam is my reverse, and Mew Hollow. I'll take it. It's always fun to get a Mew or a Mewtwo. I will take it, and that's like. Oh, that's all shiny. Look at that. Whole thing. It was shinier than I thought. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And again, without having a... Oh my gosh, there's two codes in this one. What? Double codes? I hope I have ten Pokemon cards in here. Hold on. Weird. I'm going to count. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have ten. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is a cool Tyranitar hollow. I like the art on that. Double code. Lucky you guys.
It's always funny when they make mistakes like that, as the American packs tend to have a little bit more errors and mistakes than the, their Japanese counterparts. Jupiter, Shao, Shinobu, Anakin, Jigglypuff, Sunyu. Benikin is my reverse, and Amistar. Okay. Last Fates Collide. So far, the most exciting thing I got was the Mew, which I don't even know if that... For all I know, that's just a normal rare card that's worth a dollar. I don't... I didn't sleeve it, because I don't think it's anything particularly exciting, but... In terms of its rarity, I don't think there's anything... Too, too crazy about it. I just thought it was a cool-looking card. Of all the cards I pulled, that's the one that I enjoyed the most, I would say. But nothing that... That was like a ridiculous triple pull. Nothing that deserves to be in a sleeve, I would say. Wow, I am double pulling like crazy. Okay, this is this is the, the last chance for X and Y. This is the last X and Y pack. Ultra Ball is my reverse. And... Marowak. Well, you know what? I enjoy Marowak. It may not be all that special, <laughs> but he always was one of my more favorite Pokemon from the older ones. Oh, I do have another X and Y. My apologies. For some reason, I was thinking I had three Sun and Moon Guardian Rising, and I only have two. X and Y has one more chance to come through. Bonus chance. Forgot about this pack. The bonus chance. X and Y's. Here we go. Another Spirit Link. Kerbink. Fennekin. Seal. Diglett. Sniver. Aw, oh, the Jigglyling is the reverse. And. White. Kiram is the regular rare. Nothing too crazy out of all that. Some really cool looking cards that I'm really excited about. Because I've definitely been able, thanks to these tins, I've been able to kick off my X and Y collection a little bit. Because up until now, my collection has been primarily the newer Sword and Shield. So, I'm definitely excited about the tins. Um, but I'm a little bit bummed that nothing's been... There, I, I sleeved so many things in the last... If you guys didn't watch that episode, you need to do yourself a favor. You need to immediately go back and watch that after this one. Because part one had a ton of sleeveable, sleeve worthy cards. Honestly, there were so many in that one that if I had opened all of the Pokeballs at once rather than breaking them up, I would have been satisfied. I would have been like, yeah, that's a lot of pulls out of these 12 Pokeballs. But being that we. <laughs> separated it. It's making this one feel lackluster. But out of the 12, for sure, I still feel pretty good. I mean, the fact that we even got an ultra rare out of the Pokeball tins from an older generation is definitely really cool. Okay, this is for sure the last pack. So, because again, we didn't have a lot of these Sun and Moon Guardian ones. So, this is 100% the last pack. Last chance to get something sleeveable. Vulpix. Fletchling. Machop. Double pull on the plant trump. <laughs> okay. My reverse is Gothel Tol Tol Tol. And an Oracolio is the last card of the day. So nothing to review on that one, because nothing that I would say, again, uh, is necessarily sleeveable. Uh, but we did get some really cool rares. Um, I still think the Mew is what stands out the most to me. That was definitely a really cool card. Um, and, you know, Mew is just one of those, like, fan favorites. So uh, he always tends to kind of stand out. But so that is it for the tins for now. Like I said, I had <laughs> the one... Random premium ball that I'm keeping uh, aside, and I have like a whole, I have a separate plan just for that one individual Pokeball. So that's it for those for now. But we have tons of more stuff to open, a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline for uh, the Pokemon trading card game. So 
thanks for coming out, everybody. I appreciate the view and support, as always, and I will see all of you on the next episode.